Welcome to the tiny island where I'm gonna be surviving solo for the next 24 hours. Oh boy. Well, it's not very often that I'm doing challenges, let alone survival challenges, by myself. First things first, I'm going to survey the island. I have never been to this piece of land ever. So I need to see what I'm working with and create a shelter because tonight is going to be in the 30s. And if I don't have a good enough shelter, then I might freeze to death. And we don't want that. So let's go check out the island. And when I say this island is tiny, I'm not kidding. There's not much space to work with, but there are a bunch of trees. So that's definitely helpful. For shelter, I do have a tent, and I feel like the best location for a tent is a place that's surrounded by trees, brush, a bunch of stuff to help block the wind. It has been a little windy on this island, and I don't want to be freezing tonight, so. Also for me, this challenge is definitely a little different than what we typically do. Typically, I'm with Andrew and Isaac, and we're all hanging out together, working together, but I'm literally by myself with no one to help me. If I get hurt, no one can help me. And I'm also an extrovert, so being by myself is gonna be uh, an experience. In my everyday life, I'm surrounded with people. When I go to work, we got the JStu team I get to hang out with all day. When I go home, I'm with my family and my kids. But out here, by myself, I can't remember the last time I've just been by myself. So I'm hoping that this experience is going to be a joyful one and hopefully just a, a great learning experience for me. That's my goal going into this overnight, is to see if I can enjoy it. <laughs> ah, ow. Oh, that just slapped me in the face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think I might have found the spot. I mean, with these views, it's flat. Got a view of the, the lake out here. It actually doesn't feel windy at all. I think because the wind is blowing from that way. We got a bunch of trees and whatnot right there. This is really cool. Let's do it. Making the decision. This is everything I have. Got my tent right here. Two person. I'm gonna put it right in this area. Is this the base? Where's the base? Nope, that's not the base. Where's the instructions? You know, this is pretty self-explanatory. Ah! Oh, now this is cool! Heck are the instructions! Oh, that's pretty neat! I chose this tent specifically because of its colors. It looks way too cool, the blue and green. And it only took me like a couple minutes to set up. Guess I gotta put the tarp on top of it because who knows if it'll rain up here. Oh yes, I did bring a shovel. Use it as a hammer. Look at that, guys. The tent is set up. Perfect size, just what I need to sleep tonight. Let's go inside the tent, show you what it looks like inside, and also, I gotta show you what I packed in my backpack. Oh, not crazy spacious, but I mean, I'm just gonna be sleeping in here, so I think I'd rather have it a little more enclosed. So this is great. You're probably curious what I packed in this giant backpack. Oh, you just wait. I got some good stuff. So to start, of course, I got the brand new JStu Adventure Club gear. I am currently wearing the Windbreaker, and we got the Adventure Club beanie as well as hoodie. If you guys haven't checked that out, jstuShop.com. It's my favorite launch we've ever done. Next up, sleeping bag. Keep me warm tonight. This is the North Face Wasatch Pro sleeping bag, 40 degrees. Should be fine. I've been looking forward to our meal time. I packed and made homemade hamburgers. So we're gonna be grilling that up very soon because I am very hungry. Show you that soon. We have, of course, our cooking utensils. Solo stove, make a fire if I want, as well as a sleeping bag. I have learned through the many overnights we've done that sleeping on the bare ground is probably not the best idea. If you have a sleeping pad, 
you'll stay a whole lot warmer. So I'm very glad I got this. So I'll put this down and then I'll put the sleeping bag on top of it. Got my handy dandy camp chair as well as some other campsite necessities. I had to pack a light because I didn't want my back to break from how heavy everything was, but yeah, check this out. Cooking supplies, extra rope, binoculars, water bottle. Oh, super excited about this. I didn't pack any water, but I do have this high quality water filtration system. I just connect this to my water bottle, put it in the water, pump it out, and apparently it's clean water. Never done that before, so that'll be a first for me. I also got a saw in case I need to cut some wood, build an extra outdoor shelter. Who knows? Better to be safe than sorry, right? Well, this will come in handy. I'll hang everything up outside. Check this cool thing out. You hang it to some trees and you could hang all your essentials. So that way it's not just hanging on the ground. Ha! Here. Beanie. Perfect. So cozy. Now I didn't bring a pillow, but I did bring the Adventure Club hoodie. So that'll be perfect for that. Other than that, this is uh, all the inside really needs. You're probably wondering about my light situation and oh, do I have a solution? I'll show you guys that tonight. You might have some good guesses though. Finally got my campsite set up. Now I'm feeling pretty hungry. But like I mentioned earlier, I do have a checklist that I want to try to accomplish while I'm out here, which is to go fishing and actually catch a fish. I can't tell you how many times we've tried to fish in videos and we end up coming shorthanded. I have low expectations, but I'm genuinely going to try and catch a fish, so we'll see what happens. Build a fire, build a shelter, and if I have the capacity, I'm gonna try and build a boat out of wood. But first things first, let's make some lunch. This is already proving to be difficult, because like I mentioned earlier, Andrew and Isaac aren't here. If they were, we could all do different tasks, like, while I was getting the shelter done, Andrew or Isaac could have gone fishing or could have built a boat. But because I'm alone, I have to do everything. So it's kind of uh, difficult and I'm hoping I can still do all of my tasks, but who knows? Hopefully I can get a fire started tonight because it is gonna be freezing. I'm sure that'll help a lot. And I got a perfect pan for it. Look at that. Now. The moment I've been waiting for to show you guys what I made for lunch. <sighs> okay, so in here we have some frozen homemade hamburger patties. Made them with egg, salt, garlic, and pepper. Trust me, it's gonna be good. They're frozen. We also got lettuce here. Got some butter for the pan. Spinach artichoke dip. We have some cheese. We got buns, and I'm gonna slice some onions up as well. pan warm up and then throw some butter on there and let the feast begin. Patty number one. Yes, I made two patties. Guys gotta eat. We'll have to let it sit for a few minutes on this side. Well guys, here we go. Burger number one. Bon Appetit. It's smelling real good right now. Feeling full after that great meal. Now I'm really thirsty, so it's time to use the filtration system in the lake. Hopefully this works. So this filtration system's pretty easy, self-explanatory. I got a Nalgene water bottle right here. Unscrew the top. It literally just screws onto the water bottle. 
how cool that is. And then we got a tube here. Screw it on here, pump it in. Ugh. Okay guys, moment of truth. I don't know why I feel nervous. I've just never done a filtration system like this before, so it literally took me like five minutes to get a full water bottle. There you go. It looks pretty clear to me. I don't see any weird floaties or dirt or anything. So let's uh, give it a try. It actually tastes pretty clear. I was expecting to kind of taste like a, a lake flavor, if that makes any sense, but it kind of just tastes like purified water with a subtle hint of like dirt. I don't know why I'm so like in awe of this device. That was so easy. If I run out of water, just come back down to the lake, filter it up, got water for days. I've been super curious guys to see just how big this island is, so, I'm going to run around the entire island and see how long it takes for me to get back to here. Got my stopwatch, run that way. Then we'll be able to calculate just how big it is. Math, three, two, one, go. A minute and 55 seconds. Woo, that was a little longer than I was expecting. I'll blame it on all the rocks. There's so many boulders on the beach, it makes it hard to run at all. Glad I didn't twist my ankle. That probably wouldn't have been bad. Wait, that would have been bad. I don't know how to properly do the math, but a minute, 55 seconds to run around the island. You could probably somehow figure out how big this island is. <laughs> There's been random trash on this island as well. So I've been picking up trash when I find it and we'll be throwing it away. For my next pass, I plan to catch a fish. So I got a brand new fishing pole as well as uh, some items in here to hopefully increase my chances. So with recommendations from one of the gentlemen at the store, he recommended this. So just this, I don't have any bait or anything else. We're catching a fish today, guys. Imagine I hook myself. Now, I'm not a knot expert. Three. We'll go with five. Just like that, we're ready to fish. Here goes nothing. Oh. Slowly reel it back in. We're just testing the water. Dude. I hope that was a fish and not the ground. That would have been the best. Gosh, I get so excited. Oh, that better not have been the ground. Dude, that was so sick. Please, just one fish. I'm trying. I'll let you go. All you gotta do is bite. Interesting. How can we test the ground? Oh, that had to have been a fish. We're doing something wrong. Let's go out here. Be as far into the water. I'm gonna walk nonchalantly this way. Gonna waltz along the shore. Oh man, such a disappointing feeling not being able to catch a fish. But I haven't done the due diligence to actually catch a fish. I can't expect to be a good basketball player if I don't practice. So I think my homework for myself is to watch some fishing tutorial videos. I also have some friends who fish, so maybe go out with them. And then maybe in a future episode, I'll be able to officially catch one. But at the end of the day, it was pretty relaxing just to be out by the water and try. Even though I didn't catch anything, it doesn't matter. So I had a good time. Okay. Oh, 
I am extremely excited for this item that I brought, which is the Solo Stove. It's just a tiny little fire pit. It's gotten significantly colder since the sun's gone down, so this should warm me up for a little bit and create some nice fire pit vibes. Let's get that going. This fire pit is extremely small, so I feel like just a few small sticks and twigs should do the trick. Come on. There we go. Let that get roaring, and then we'll put some bigger sticks on it. Dope. <laughs> Lots of smoke. The smoke should stop soon, I hope. The smoke is slowly dissipating, making this very nice. Just don't catch me tent on fire. I didn't bring much of a dinner, guys, but at least I have some beef jerky and a protein bar. Still pretty full from today's lunch, but uh, this will have to do. It's crazy how much just a fire makes a difference when you're camping. Time to light up the inside of my tent. Not with lights, glow sticks. Way more convenient. These things last eight hours. They're cool, they're colorful. Actually, 12 hours. Let's get these guys cracked open. Dude, look at that, one glow stick. I don't even need any more glow sticks. One's good enough, but I packed plenty, so we're gonna light them all. So many places to hang lights. Yeah, right here, right here. How about that? <sighs> ha ha! Look at this. I mean, come on, it can't get any better than this, right? Honestly, I need to look into how they actually make glow sticks. I should probably make my own glow sticks. Would you guys be interested if we made glow sticks? I know I would. Oops! While I was distracted with the glow sticks, my fire has slowly been dying. Oh well, I'm pretty tired actually anyways, and I don't really want to keep going out, getting more sticks, keeping it lit. So I think I'm gonna call it a night and wind down, get ready for bed. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm pretty content right now. It's been an extremely long day, so I think I'm gonna try and sleep. I'm expecting a good night's sleep. It does seem to be a little windy as well tonight, but when I close the tent up, I'm actually feeling pretty toasty. Got my sleeping bag. Time to stay warm and go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, slept pretty well. Wasn't the best, but hey, we're uh, we're trying here. Although I didn't sleep very good, I feel like it was so peaceful that that didn't matter. The fact that I'm out here doing this challenge is what I'm uh, most proud of. You guys know what time it is? Coffee time. <laughs> Making coffee is as easy as one, two, three. Got my filtered water here, pour it in here. This is gonna be boiling in no time. So for coffee, I got the pour over method. So I got this little tiny bag here and you just peel it off. It's already got the ground coffee in and you set it on your cup just like this and pour the hot water in. Cheers guys. I like coffee in the morning. I'm actually super glad that I was able to do this challenge by myself. I typically don't do many things alone, but it's proven to be very beneficial, not only just to be able to get outdoors and explore by myself, I kind of had to just be with my own thoughts, which is good every now and then. I think I'm gonna make it a goal to try and get outdoors more. Not only try and mountain bike, hike with my family, but even camping with my family, I think, this has just made it a solid thing that I need to do for sure. Well guys, thanks for watching this survival challenge. If you liked it, please leave a like and maybe we'll do more of these. I sure enjoyed it. And if you guys wanna join the Adventure Club, jstushop.com, go get yours now. Link's in the description and we'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye. Roll the credits.